and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very important video for you. So in case you may or may not know, May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. And I wanted to get this video up at the beginning of the month, but it just didn't happen with me moving in all this month. But it is still May and I believe any time is a good time to remember about the issues with the sun, you know, remember about skincare, take care of your skin. So I think any time is a good time for this video. So with the big Skin Cancer Awareness Month, I thought this was a perfect time to go over sunscreens and the differences in sunscreens because I get asked a lot of questions about, you know, sunscreens and what skin type works best with the sunscreen and all that kind of stuff. So I figured today would be the perfect day to kind of go over that. It's almost summertime. We should all be wearing our sunscreens every single day anyway, but in the summer I feel like more people remember to wear their sunscreens, but you should do it every day, no matter if it's summer, winter, cloudy out, anything, sunscreens are a must every single day. So if you want to learn a little bit more about sunscreens and what sunscreen will work for you, then just keep on watching. Okay, so like I was saying, May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and for me, that is a big, big deal. So when I was young, I did the tanning beds. I loved to be tan. This was probably back when I was like in my early 20s. It was so funny because I remember back when I was in high school, it was my senior year, and I was going to prom, and I remember like all my girlfriends were going tanning before the prom, and I remember asking my mom if I could go tanning before the prom and I remember her saying no she was like you are not going tanning you are not laying in a tanning bed and I remember being like so mad that I couldn't go tanning because all my friends were going to be tan and it's funny when I look back at my prom photos god I haven't seen those in years but I remember the photo like distinctly in my head because I was so white and like all my friends were like tan and everything and that's kind of the first time like in my life that I remember like oh like being tan, like you look good, you know? So after my mom didn't let me tan, she never did like while I was living with them, I never was allowed to do the tanning thing. So I remember like after school and college, when I was out on my own is when I was like, oh, I'm gonna start tanning. So I remember like doing the whole tanning thing and going to tanning beds and it's so bad for your skin. What really gave me the wake up call though with, you know, being out in the sun and baking out in the sun was about nine, years ago. It was like when I first moved down to Georgia from Pennsylvania, my parents were still living in Pennsylvania at that time. And I got a phone call from my dad. And he told me, I, I remember this call like distinctly, he told me that he had skin cancer and that it was melanoma. And I just remember being so scared. Like I was like, Oh my god, like, you never think anybody is going it's never gonna happen to you or it's never gonna happen to somebody you know, and you'd think, Oh, skin cancer, it's not, it's nothing, it's so treatable, you know. Until you or somebody that you love gets that diagnosis and it is so scary. Now, luckily for my dad, he caught it so early. It was actually like, um, I guess it was a mole on his, on his wrist and he was always diligent about going to the dermatologist, thank God, because they caught it early and they, all they had to do was like cut it out and monitor it and he had to go back for tests every few months and everything. He never had to go through like treatment or cancer treatment or anything like that. Luckily it was just able to be removed and that was nine years ago and to this day like in the summertime he will wear like a bandage over his arm or he will wear long sleeves all together. He does not expose himself to the sun because of that. You have to be so careful. So when that happened that was like such a wake-up call to me. I was like oh my god like I don't want to lay out in the sun. I want to protect myself. So that is when I really started, you know, protecting myself against the sun. It really didn't even have much to do with it, with premature aging, which obviously is a huge factor with being in the sun too. It just prematurely ages you so much. But, you know, skin cancer is preventable and you don't have to, you know, it's a cancer that is preventable. So why not take every precaution and prevent it? And it's so important to go to your dermatologist and get annual checkups every single year. To this day, every single year, I go to the dermatologist and I get a body check where they check, you know, moles on my back and moles, you know, and freckles and they make sure that, you know, nothing looks suspicious. And I've had some moles that looked suspicious and they removed them and had to get biopsy and everything and everything came back fine. But it's just something that I'm so, so aware of and, you know, everyone should not take it, you know, lightly because skin cancer is a cancer and it is deadly and it kills people all the time. And I like tell my kids now, my kids are seven and five and I put sunscreen on them all the time. 
um, if they're outside playing, I have sunscreen on them. Like, it's just something I do, and I'll show you the sunscreen that I absolutely love for them. But I tell my seven-year-old, my, my, my younger one doesn't mind me loading them up with sunscreen, but my seven-year-old is like, Mom, I don't want lotion. Like, and he tries to get away from me as I'm putting the lotion on. I'm like, Ryan, I'm like, I tell him the importance. I'm like, this is why I'm putting this on. And I told him about skin cancer, and I said that you, we have to protect ourselves from the sun. And I don't think he's too young to understand like the dangers that can become if you don't protect yourself from the sun. So he's seven and I'm already like explaining that to him because I just want my kids to be fully aware because we know so much more today about sun and what it does to our skin versus back even when I was young, you know? So I just think it's good to educate young because I just want my kids to fully know, you know, just to protect themselves from the sun because I don't want anything to happen to them. That is why I'm so passionate about the skin cancer awareness and I urge you guys to make sure you check your moles and go to the dermatologist and get checked and you know also just to wear your sunscreen every day not just on your face but if you're gonna be outside for a long period of time make sure you put sunscreen all over. So really when it comes to sunscreen that's what I do. If I am on a daily basis I really just put it on my face and my neck and my like chest area. So, you know, I will use my sunscreen and pretty much just cover myself like that if I'm not going to be outside. If I'm outside at a, you know, sporting event at my kids' baseball games or soccer games, or if I am at the beach, of course, or any long amount of time, if I'm just sitting outside watching my kids play, I will use a body sunscreen. And this is my absolute favorite one. It's the Elta MD, the UV lotion. It's a broad spectrum SPF 30. And I love this one because it is a full body sunscreen, but it's a body lotion as well. And it's such a good body lotion. It's not like a thick and greasy body lotion. It sinks into your skin. It has like hyaluronic acid and good skincare ingredients with it. So on days that I am going to be outside for a longer period of time, I use a body lotion, must, 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 all over, arms, legs, if my shoulders are out, you know, I use a body lotion with SPF. And this is just by far one of my, my absolute favorite because it has all those really good skincare ingredients in it as well. And it is just, you know, it comes out in a pump just like any other body lotion and it's just my absolute favorite. So for my kids, the one that I use and when I had, you know, when I was getting trained and learning about all these Elta MD products, the rep, I remember she had kids and she was saying that this is the one that she uses on her kids and that she will never use anything else on her kids because this is just the best protection for them. It's the Elta MD, the UV Pure. It's a broad spectrum SPF 47. It's a chemical free, transparent zinc oxide. It's water resistant for 80 minutes and it's a face and body physical sunscreen. So let me just go back and tell you guys the difference between a physical sunscreen and a chemical sunscreen. Both of them will protect you from the sun and both of them are, you know, highly recommended. So the difference though between a chemical and a physical is a chemical sunscreen will allow the UVA and UVB rays, they kind of go into your skin and are absorbed. So that's not doing any damage to your skin, but they're just absorbed by the sunscreen that way. Whereas a physical sunscreen like this and some of the other ones, or a physical is also known as a mineral sunscreen, what they do is they actually, when you put them on, they actually, um, the rays will bounce off your skin. That's just the differences between the two. So some people prefer the chemical free because some people have uh, more, are more intolerant to the, to the chemicals in the chemical sunscreens. So if you have problems with finding a sunscreen that doesn't give you like a reaction or some people break out with sunscreens, it's probably because you're using a chemical one. So you wanna go for a physical or mineral based kind of sunscreen. But this UV Pure one is the best one. This is what I load my kids up on. I just think this is such a good one. It's one, the Elta MD line, I mean, they're just such great sunscreens. A lot of times, if you buy an SPF of 70, and this is what I just learned because I would do this with my kids all the time, I would buy like an 80 sunscreen and think I was giving them the best protection when in all reality, the high sunscreens like that do not give you any more of a protection than say like an SPF 30 or 40. And what happens is as soon as you put that on your on the, your skin, like say you get like an SPF 80, you put that on your skin, five minutes later, it drops down to an SPF 30. It's like such a like misleading thing. So that's something I had no idea about because I was always loading up my kids on like the highest sunscreens. 
but you know, you just need to get a good sunscreen and the right sunscreen and it's gonna give you an actual, a better protection because these type of sunscreens, the Elta MD and the ones that I'm showing you, don't drop down to anything else. They stay consistent with what they are, with what they say they are. So this UV Pure one is the one I use on my kids. It's super kid friendly. It comes out white, but it just soaks into your skin and this is one that, you know, I just, I love for my kids. So I'm gonna show you guys one, if you have oily skin, this is what I'm gonna suggest for you guys. So let me pull out, this is the Elta MD, this is the UV Clear. This is a SPF 46 broad spectrum again. This calms and protects acne prone skin. It is a transparent zinc oxide. It is UVA, UVB protection. It is made for acne, rosacea, and hyperpigmentation skin. This one is so good for oily, acne-prone skin. I cannot even tell you guys how many people that have oily or acne-prone skin just thank me or Dr. Silver or whoever recommends this because those are the types of people that really have a hard time finding a good sunscreen that doesn't make them break out or sink into their pores, you know, and clog up pores. This one is just absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing for oily acne prone skin. So I highly recommend that. As well as the SkinCeuticals one actually just came out with this one. It's the Physical Matte UV Defense and it's the broad spectrum SPF of 50. And again, this is a physical sunscreen and this one again is matte. So when you put it on, this one totally feels like a primer on your skin. It's an oil absorbing sunscreen. It will keep you matte. It is so amazing. It's actually what I've been wearing. I have it on today. I wore it the past couple days um, because it's brand new and I wanted it to try out and I absolutely love it. On those hot summer days, this is what I'm going to be reaching for because it controls oil. It's like the first one I've ever used that controls oil. So it really just comes out. It comes out tinted like that and it just blends right into your skin and it acts like a primer to your skin. It kind of like smooths out pores and everything, like it's crazy. So this is amazing, again, if you have oily skin and you wanna control that oil, I think this would be super for you. But again, if I think if you have acne and stuff, you wanna stay with the UV Clear because this one, if you have acne, acne prone skin, this one is going to be your best bet. So now this is SkinCeuticals. This is their like super highly, popular sunscreen. This is the Physical Fusion UV Defense and it's a broad spectrum SPF 50 again. This one's water resistant. Um, it's got a universal tint again. This one you wanna like shake up really good and it comes out tinted again, but this one's uh, you know more watery than that matte one. But it just comes out like this and it kind of just reminds me a little bit of like the Neocutis Journey, but it's more watery. It just blends into your skin like a dream. If you have like normal or, or drier, skin, then I would definitely suggest this one. I mean, this one works good for my skin too. I have combination skin, so I could really get away with the matte one or this one. Um, and they just are both amazing. SkinCeuticals makes very, very good sunscreen. So that's just the two options from SkinCeuticals too. The other one that if you have more normal, you know, normal to oily skin, I would say, would be this one, the UV Physical um, this is the Elta MD again, the UV Physical Broad Spectrum SPF 41. This one is, again, chemical-free, UVA, UVB protection, um, water resistant for 40 minutes. So this is a really good one if you have sensitive skin. This one's made for, like extra gentle. If you have very sensitive skin and cannot find a um, you know, SPF that really works for sensitive skin. This one's very, very good. This one's recommended if you are like post-procedure, if you have like a chemical peel or any type of laser or anything like that and you, you need to make sure you wear an SPF after those procedures. This is a great one because it's very, very gentle on the skin. And this one is tinted as well and this one comes out um, just like this. You can see it's just, again, a universal tint and just, again, just blends right in your skin. This one is like hydrating yet doesn't make you oily. So it's just, a, anyone can really wear this one. This is a very, very like universal for a lot of skin types. Um, again, that's the Elta MD, the UV Physical. It's the Tinted Broad Spectrum SPF 41. Highly recommend this one. Love, love, love this one. And if you're looking for something for, you know, more very dry skin, you can definitely use that UV Physical because it is hydrating, like I said. But this one will give you even more hydration. It's the Elta MD UV Daily, the Broad Spectrum SPF 40. So this has hyaluronic acid in it. It is sheer, lightweight. Um, again, it says it's for normal to dry and post-procedure skin. And this has that same tint to it as well. So this is just a more moisturizing, 
you know, type of SPF. It does have the hyaluronic acid in it as well. Great SPF of 40, and again, these t the, the Elta MD ones just, they stay true. So if it says SPF 40, it is gonna stay SPF 40, you know, for as long as you are wearing it. Um, but I definitely recommend this one if you have dry skin. Then we have the good old Neocuta's Journey, which you guys absolutely know I love. Again, this is the anti-aging moisturizer plus SPF of 30. This one is so amazing if you are looking for that anti-aging ingredients because this has the growth factors, the peptides, some antioxidants. This has everything in it plus the SPF. So this is a great all-in-one. If you are looking for an easy all-in-one type of SPF, definitely recommend this one. Um, this one, again, is lightly tinted just like the rest. It's just a beautiful product. Obagi also has a matte sun shield. This is the Obagi Sun Shield Matte SPF Broad Spectrum of 50. And again, this is a matte sunscreen. Good for oily skin or combination skin. It just, you know, helps to not look not look shiny or anything with the SPF. It, the SPF just goes on very matte, so it keeps your skin matte. So that's the Obagi one. And then Obagi also has their Healthy Skin Protection SPF uh, 35. Again, it's a broad spectrum. This one is a white tone. This is great for your body. I would take this one on um, vacations with me a lot because it's just a really easy one to throw on your body. Um, it's just, it's, it comes out white. So I don't personally like this one on my face, but for your body, this one's amazing. And those are the two Obagi ones that I really like. So those are all some of the most popular sunscreens. Some of those are ones that I personally use and absolutely love. Again, just wear your sunscreen every single day. Wear it on your body, all over if you're gonna be out and exposed, you know, for longer periods of time. It is so important. Go to your dermatologist, get those annual checkups, you know, body checkups, because, you know, it honestly just could save your life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a little information about the different types of sunscreens. There is a sunscreen for every skin type. So if you think you cannot find a sunscreen, for your skin type and that's why you're not wearing one, comment me below and I will help you find one that will work for your skin type because it's just so important, guys. So I love you all. I will see you in my next video. Bye.